The first 10 ships have already used the Ukrainian Black Sea Corridor. Kyiv announced the start of its operation after Moscow withdrew from the Grain Agreement. Two ships have already reached Odessa, two more went to Chernomorsk, and the new legacy vessel arrived at the port of Yuzhny. Five ships, which have been in Ukrainian ports even before the start of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, use this road to return to their home ports. The ship's safe passage signals that Ukraine's daring bet to set up its own trade route, which came after the collapse of a safe corridor agreement with Russia, has paid off. From the publication in Bloomberg. British insurance broker Miller has partnered with the technology company Clearwater Dynamics and the Ukrainian government to introduce a risk coverage tool for ships in the Black Sea. This is a technology that allows real-time monitoring of ships' transit and tracking them in ports. This will give insurance companies grounds for full coverage of policies. It will also provide partners with reliable information about the situation in the Black Sea. However, British intelligence has warned that Russia could again attack civilian ships to prevent Ukrainian grain exports. At the same time, terrorist country will try to blame Ukraine for everything, the British Foreign Office said in a statement. Russia's pernicious targeting of civilian shipping in the Black Sea demonstrates Putin's total disregard for civilian lives and the needs of the world's most vulnerable. The world is watching, and we see right through Russia's cynical attempts to lay blame on Ukraine for their attacks. We and our allies stand united against Putin and his attempts to harm Ukraine, and thus harm the rest of the world. James Cleverly, Secretary of State for Foreign, Commonwealth and Development, Development Affairs of the United Kingdom on the website of British Foreign Office. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs emphasized that the UK has surveillance equipment that will allow to establish Russia's involvement in strikes on civilian vessels. The warning came after the Ukrainian Navy said that more than 20 vessels were ready to use the temporary sea corridor. Given that the Russians have made every effort to create a mine danger in the Black Sea, ranging from conventional sea mines to drifting mines, which they have constantly thrown into the water and then carried to our shores in the Mykolaiv and Odessa regions, in our water area security is ensured by the armed forces of Ukraine. London is working with Kyiv and allies on measures to improve the safety of shipping in the Black Sea. This includes using all opportunities for recognizance and monitoring of Russian military activity. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Kristina Dombrovska, UATV News.